of the crazy finish to the second game. We are now in game number three. This match will decide, this map will decide who is going to advance in the loser brackets of the WCS Korea and who will be out of the tournament. Starting to the top right in red is the Team Liquid player. His ideas. Liquid Hero. Uh, decides to replace his pylon, not at the ramp, but more towards his nexus. Uh, and his production is affected. Anyway, his opponent, Mawungjin Stars, in the blue. He is. Mawungjin Stars, so key. Starting at the bottom left here, so we have cross positions. Um, Hero's opening not uh, as solid because of his pylon mishap that he had earlier. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, he cancelled it. Okay, so I was not wrong there. I checked the resource loss. He did cancel it. And uh, that affects his opening slightly, but he is going to have a, a super cool wall off here to protect his Nexus as a result. Well, then now just trying to scout, and of course, the Overlords are the weapon of choice for Soul Key here. He doesn't send out a drone scout. Which By the way, uh, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you here, but. I wanted to note before uh, before things get too heated here with the wall off the hero is making, it makes it a little bit uncomfortable to take his third. The wall off's going to work against him, against harassment potentially, and a very fast pylon block for hero here. He may try to cannon uh, with this as well, but I don't think so, especially with the pool timing. It's not way. There's no way he's going to get away with it. He could build a cannon just to lay the hatch. Exactly. If he thinks it's actually worth it. On the other hand, there's now the natural, well, at the second base, not at the natural, but at the third base position. And this is always really uncomfortable. On this map in particular, as a Zerg player, you really want to kill the rocks before you take your third. Yeah. And uh, the gate will go up as well as the cannon back at home for Hero. Make sure the links don't get into his main. And uh, he goes cannon before gateway. A little bit concerned uh, with that choice. Which is odd considering he did the pylon block, but he is going to get that gate up going. Second pylon actually before gate. He's gateway really late with this build. And therefore also his tech, of course. It's not only about yeah. the gateway, but the gateway, as you guys all, of course, know, will also make sure that the cybernetic score is very late, and therefore his entire tech. Yeah, and with actually the faster pylon, he got more probes out. Uh, you know, it's it's not something you think about too much. When you do that pylon block, you can get extra probes out because you do have that supply for a second since he let it finish. Um, but his gate is significantly late here. And this means that Sulky is actually going to be comfortable against gateway pressure. He's even going to see the time -like, timing of the gateway with his overload. The match is, by the way, exactly what we are supposed it would be. It's a very close one. It's yeah. very exciting, very tense. And I have no idea who's going to take it. Solgi and Hero looked strong in uh, those games, and right now on uh, in Tomb Valley, of course, a Protoss player in a bit of a better position, but Solgi uh, looked solid so far, to say the least. He really does. Uh, he owned that neutral depot. Well. The map is supply block now. Uh, no more critters. <laughs> no more critters, man. Can't force those out. No more rocks. Destructible or otherwise. No debris. Huh? Rocks? Do rocks cost supply? Yeah, three armor and I think ten supply for the rocks, and that's why the, the depot is a problem for him. If he loses the rocks over here, which they're starting to get a little bit low to the zerlings, he can produce another thing of rocks. So the build time on the rocks takes so long, we won't see it this week. Maybe next week. Suck as a map player and make it. Yeah. Uh, Stargate. Yeah, I'm. I'm worried about. Uh, Sulky's third base here. How much, how much preparation is he gonna to go with here? Right now, he's only got the three queens, and his rocks. He's destroying them, but he's not. I mean, he's not really destroying them. He's kind of just scraping at the surface a little bit. With this Stargate play, I mean, on a map this big, it's probably not gonna happen. But I, on a smaller map, I would say a Void Ray attack with the Gateway support is great here because just how the bases work. And with the rocks, it's so hard to get queens into a good position to deal with the void rate. But I don't think that's what we're going to see here. No, not at all. Yeah. Uh, the Overlord, by the way, uh, did see the Stargate. So the void rate is known. He gets the Evolution Chamber now. Surprisingly, no extra queens. Uh, that's something that I think may come back to bite him. But if he positions his score as well, he could defend. 
There's no plus one attack timing. He's now moving towards his third base with a pro placing on the pile and already getting position to take his third. Wow, third base before 745. What a fast third by Hero. Yeah. This is not going to be something Solki expects and he's denied scouting over this all. This is definitely not the time when you would expect your pro to play to take a third base. On this map, of course, you can take it a little bit faster and uh, you can be uh, quite secure about it, but still, this is a little bit of... This is pretty cool by Hero. The rocks are also still in position. Yeah. No, he finds the overload here. And the wings are going to get shut down. Cannon blocks. This is uh, this is shaping up to be a pretty stressful game for Soki because this is the reason why Zergs uh, dis dislike this map is because Pros feels he can take a, a safe third, and that's exactly what Hero has done here. A very early safe third, and now Solki is a bit in the position where he has to decide what to do. We've seen drop play into the main base on this map, just maxing out on Roaches on 200 supply and dropping. We've seen Zerg players taking the entire map base after base, preparing for the late game with Group Lords and Infestors. Solki has to make a choice here if he tries to be a bit more aggressive or he, if he just falls into a macro style. But if he does so, then he should probably uh, soon start to take his fourth base. Oh wow, I love what Hero's doing with this board ray. Shuts down the drone trying to make that fourth hatchery. He knows that one of the responses for Solki will be, okay, he's taking a fast throw, I gotta get my fourth up already. Gotta control that void ray now though, and he will. Focus. Wow, even trying to focus the drone down, he won't be able to get it, but it was close. That was really close, and that would have helped him so much. And he's even, he's not done yet, man. He is really making Solki work at this. Baits out the Queens again, but this time he doesn't have enough Phoenixes yeah. to do what he did last game. With three Phoenixes, it's not enough. If he has five, then okay, even four won't be enough. But now he can move into the mains. Yeah, there's no Queens. How many Queens does he actually have? There are five already. All of them are missing injects six. right now. They're all way away from the hatcheries. Yeah, the ones that are about to pop out will be able to hit ejects eventually, but a lot of lost here, and... A hero is not stopping Phoenix production, and he's not stopping the attack on this hatchery. And he's going for robotics bait. Sick aggression here. This is actually not over yet. He's only got three queens on here. Soki really having to, to figure out what he wants to do. He I think he actually them. he will lift all of them, and I think he's going to get this hatchery, man. This is insane. Oh, he stops it. He starts to attack the queens. He's trying to take them down, and the void ray is charged. Well, he needs to. Oh, he didn't get the transfuse off. Oh, the Void Ray is still alive! He didn't kill the Void Ray! Now it's dead. Oh, that was so close. That is really close. Another transfuse. He still has energy. A lot of energy left. All those Phoenixes. Can he kill the rest of the Queens? He's picking up the Queens that have energy. This is a big problem for Solki. He's trying to move that Spore Crawler over here. A lot of Larva Injects being missed right now with all these Queens going down. He's going to take out one more. Not going to be able to have that Spore Crawler in time to push him away. Wow, what aggression from Hero saying, you know what, most people stop with the pressure, but I will not. And he, the way he controlled his boiler, the way he used that, really made Sulky desperate. He had to move all of his queens on, he was missing injects, and he, like, he was like, I'm missing too much, I gotta go back. And the hero was like, well, my Void Ray is still alive, man, what are you gonna do? Ten Infestors have been built, so the Phoenixes have to be careful that they don't get Chain Fungal, but Hero has his transition into Colossi ready. The first one is actually now on the map, and we have the Extended Thermal Range being started. Also, Twilight Council, so Hero really gearing up here. And the early game uh, went, didn't went too, uh, too bad for him. He killed a lot of queens. Now there are five left still. As all he killed a lot. Spine crawlers are coming. We have the Spire. We have Hive. We have Roach Warren. Both of them just gearing up for the late game. The Zerg being on four, four bases and Hero on three. Check that Fleet Beacon timing though for Hero. He's got it before the Spire is even done. This will signify the end of the Phoenix harassment. He is going to uh, take out some drones potentially on his way out. Oh, he's doing well. That was a mistake by both players. He can actually move back, and that's something that he didn't even, didn't even see coming. He was like, well, I got a fungal. They are dead. I can't do anything. And then he looked again, and he's like, wait a sec. Why am I not fungal? Okay, I can escape. I'm fine. And that will help him later a lot. Yeah, keeping those alive helps him fight against corruptors as well as potential lifts on uh, investors. And by now we have the more Colossi on the map. The Colossi have been spotted by the way, so he knows now. And this is a very scary composition that Hero is going for here. He's building what people like to call the Death Ball Man. And he is... He's on three bases. With the composition he's building and with the timing of his Fleet Beacon, he actually can take a fourth. He does not have to attack here. And in fact, I don't think he will. But he's making an extra cannon. Well, the fourth base is something that we see standard on this map. 
It's quite standard if you have the third that you just push out this tiny little bit to the left and take it. He sees the Zergling, or doesn't he? He tries to build the Nexus right now, but no, it's actually borrowed. So he needs an Observer over here, and the funny thing is he doesn't have one. Yeah. Kind of funny for us, but not so funny for him, I would say. No. For him, he can now build a cannon and try to take the Zergling. That's the only thing that he can basically do. He's being very bold with these Phoenixes. Uh, he will kill some drones. Gas drones at that. What? Gotta get out. Gas drones are gone, and he well, gets out. Wow. Soul Key doesn't immediately react. So these Phoenix are just going to be annoying for Soul Key and Hero. Well, he could have lost them, but Soul Key didn't react in time. Now the supply ahead for the Zerg player. Mothership is on its way. Great Aspire as well. Hero will definitely be ready, but this time he has to be more careful about how he deals with his mothership. I mean, seriously, getting Neural like this two times in a row in, um, on map number two and getting Vortex is not what he want to have. Yeah. Well, that was that was a Ling barbecue. Very tasty, especially yeah. with some junk. Uh, in Tomb Valley, really enjoyed that. As the on the away. other hand, there is nothing in this world that is not tasty with some junk. That's actually true, man. Actually, I heard rumors that even dirt tastes nice if you dip it in some junk. I heard that uh, if you eat a probe with some junk, it might be acceptable. We talked about probes are not, uh, not edible earlier, but I might be an exception. Oh, we saw Hero get plus one last game as well for his mothership, uh, and I guess the voidra that he eventually made. But uh, just an upgrade that can be useful later on when you have the bank that Hero has right now then it's worth it because the carrier transition is one that's viable and we've seen quite often, especially on this map, as well as those void rays that we may see eventually. And now he's moving out. He certainly has a very strong army. If you compare army sizes, we have 113, 97 heroes less the 30 supply that he can use. And he has the minerals to, to do it. So right now, for some reason, he doesn't want to get any additional units. Yeah. It's a little bit weird. He doesn't have any tech that he's missing at this point. No, he With doesn't. And uh, there they are, 10 stalkers. He has, of course, the warp prism as well, so he wants to free have a little bit of supply free to warp in units into the main base with the warp prism. There's very few corruptors available. This is something that Hero has actually been able to scout, and his Colossi are going to be very valuable for one corruptor on the map. In fact, 11 broods, though. He needs the vortex. He needs it to be true. And actually, he's moving out on the map with this force that cannot fight the Broodlords. Not not even for a second. He may be using the Mothership to potentially defensively recall as if this is part of the Swarm, but... Plus three, plus three has now been started for Soul Key. Both of them just making sure that they have every single upgrade that they need. They are being maxed out on upgrades as uh, apparently a priority not only to the Terran uh, player, but also the Protoss. Speed for the War Prism, and with Neural Parasite coming up for Soul Key, he's on 200 supply, he can now just build up his bank to the bottom right, we have a little bit of an attack going on. There are a few Zealots that have been warped in, they spotted the expansion in the fifth base, but did not do anything about it. Yeah. And he's actually using the War Prism to get ready with some more high Templar for drops, as well as potentially take the 6th base at the right side of the map. Hero showing he really knows how to manage his economy in this game, especially when he gets ahead. Uh, consistently putting cannons on the high ground to stop run by. Not only does he spot them, but he could do damage to them as well, and he can even take Nexi with this. Plus 2 is on the way for air. And right now we have Roaches being trapped here. Well, nice force spears. Actually blinks in and takes the rest of them apart. Yeah, and if he did not make those cannons, he would not have spotted this. This is a genius move by, uh, by Hero. Gets all of the roaches, and this might be exactly what he needs later on. Of course, at this point, Solki has quite the bank, but so does Hero, especially when he comes down to the gas. And look at the minimap. He's just closing in from every single angle. He has the war prisons that try to get into position. He has a uh, few other units that are trying to hit for the main bait now. Oh, nice it's one investor, yeah, and, and damages a lot of the others. But more crucially, Solki denies the storm drop, which could have been devastating later on. Oh, he's got more storm drops set up as well to the right side. I have to say, Hero is not making any mistakes this game, and now, Stargate transition. Yeah. Transitions into potential carry-out play for Stargate, actually, now. 
Let's look at this bank. Another storm uh, once again. He storms, storms, and takes down as many drones as possible. Yeah, not too many killed there, but it's it, it adds up. He's got 13 workers killed in total, which Phoenix is. Oh, nice timing for him to actually attack here. The spine killers are not ready yet. He kills one of them, but gets bundled with a few units to the left. I appreciate his patience here, though. He doesn't overcommit and get caught. Only a few units going down there. The Lone Colossus contemplates life while Hero moves across the map. Uh, there's just so many spines for Sulky. He's prepared well for these types of attacks. He is going to need to start spore color production, and in order to do that, he's going to need to scout the carrier transition that Hero has been working on for quite some time now. Hero is getting a lot more aggressive. He still has the mothership in position, so recall is an option. He can uh, come into this. He's moving in and takes down, or tries to take down the fifth base here, but he needs to move back with the stalkers, and he tries to blink in, but blinks into the spine colors of his opponent before he can actually cross. Yep, and the mothership is not hotkeyed, so he's gonna actually have to be careful about that. Uh, now this second Cybernetics Core is gonna be for continued air upgrades. And I'm a little bit surprised he hasn't started plus three just yet. Nice. 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 Wow, this is cool because Zulki is kind of stuck where he is. He can't really move across the map any other way. But the problem for Zulki is going to be to actually get an Overlord into a position where he can use the Nidus because there's one to the left side of the map where currently Hero is building another base. But he still have uh, some Phoenixes on the map. Nice fuck here. Yeah. And that Colossus man, he figured it out. He's no longer existentialist. He said, yeah, you know what? I do want to fight for the Prolos army. And he found some friends to fight with. Yeah, he's he's no longer the Lone Wolf Colossus. Uh, and right now, the air upgrade's much better for Hero. Soki is going for that 90s position you mentioned earlier. Yeah, the top left way is the Overseer. I That's think this is just going to be for Investors. Investors and uh, then, of course, for the Investor Terrans. That's what he's going to use them for. And the bottom right is constantly being attacked by Hero. Yeah, he's gonna lose some phoenixes, but he's fed up with this. Yeah, this time he's fungling them to death for sure. And to make the carriers, he needs to lose more units. <laughs> well, this nice network has been spotted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the one probe is like, uh oh. You know, probes are actually pretty stupid. The probe moves in, sees it, and instead of running away, he just lingers on three. But now he's building cannons up there. He's like, does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Soki picking off some units here, and this allows Hero to actually make some carriers. Three of them started. Another Nidus goes down. Or should I say up? Oh, that's always important. And here we go. Storm is ready. Yep, he sees actually the second Nidus. Everywhere. Nice Great storm. pullbacks on the probes, by the way. No, uh, no mistake. Really well done. He has a lot of energy, on the other hand, on every single Nexus that we see, and the problem is that he's not really chrono boosting all his upgrades. Yeah, not chrono boosting those carriers either. Those are really important for him right now. This is going to become a battle of air, but Hero is leading with that because he's already started. Solki has not uh, been able to trade to get more corruptors out to fight him. And it's not always about the corruptors, actually, usually it's more about the spore crawlers and denying bases, which he's done neither of. This is a very, very long game that we are seeing now. To the top left, the uh, Infestors, they are still in position. And they still drop Infestor Terrans, but yeah, Hero could use his energy on those next side a lot better to make sure that he gets the upgrades faster than his opponent. And it's getting way ahead. Also gets his carriers out faster. Colossi working here as a team. Oh, even targeted down the Broodlord. Spine's trying to save it, but he will not. He will not save the Broodlord. And the Extractor falls. Sulky in position. He's got the recall ready. Hero does on these units. Where is the Mothership? And we have three carriers so far. The Mothership is not in position to help out here. The base is going to die. Mothership to the top right in the main base. I don't know what the Mothership was thinking over there, but... Uh, not being in a position for a Vortex is actually starting to hurt Hero a little bit. He will have to show his carriers, probably. Yeah, I think he will. He's getting. Uh, he's building additional stalkers, though. They are a lot. They are walked in a lot faster. And at the bottom right, there's just a lot of that Solki is losing as well. This game is once again growing completely out of control. Oh, it's yeah. so hard to keep up with this, all this macro fights going on. The here. corruptors are spotted as well, and he's going to take some of those out. He needs those desperately. And the carriers actually were sent to the bottom. Now they're sent back up to the north. He's trying to figure out exactly how he wants to use them. The multitasking here is going to be insane. We have just uh, basically like five fights going on in the map right now with the small unit forces. 
And this is getting really, really ugly. At the bottom right, another base dies for Solk. He has more units to the bottom left. And now we have Void Rays. This time the Chrono Boost has been used. Energy is being used to make sure that the Void Rays are as fast in the map as possible. And Hero is starting to pick Solki apart here. More and more drones going down. All his bases are hurt. He's just got one army to fight with. And, well, he's about to face plus three shields on all these Void Rays. He lost the Corruptors from earlier that I mentioned. And so he can't fight the Voids. Solki is losing his production. The minerals and the gas are certainly looking nice on the, on the tap up to the top right. But if he doesn't have any lava, he can't do anything with them. And his lava count is dropping. He's losing just too many hatches. Yeah, and all the Corruptors he's making are being picked off by Stalkers that are actually camping the production facilities. These Infestors are the only way to deal with the Carriers and the Void Race, so he cannot afford to lose those. And at some point, in Soul Key, a hero can just move back and make sure that he defends here. He's DTs gotta take out those DTs, are DTs, being yeah. used. Fade out, of course, energy, but on the other hand, kill a few occasional stray infestors and now the void race they are nearly ready the mothership uh, the stargates have been actually unpowered here wow yeah. a total spell being killed no power anymore and now he can move in and he's doing it oh wow the feedback so cool uh, great feedbacks there but the uh, brute lords remain alive at least for now he needs to protect those corruptors 14 of them left 12 now cannot go darting in like that Needs to use the best Terrans and Fungals together. But you're looking strong here. Everything yeah. is gone for Solki. Transfusers, where are they? Oh. Solki doesn't have anything except for this army. Yeah. If it's killed once, the game will end. He's moving in. The Vortex is still good. But he needs to move back with his army. Pira actually uh, warps in additional stalkers, but he's supply block. He can't get anything here. And he's losing his production as well. He's not building anything. He has 2,300 minerals. He could just use pylons now. Oh, the mothership's going to be taken out by these corruptors. A small mistake by Hero. But, it, I mean, he didn't have very much space to run with. He's trying to escape with it with these Stargate units, which are going to try to base trade against Solki, who does have his drones alive. Army supply is a little bit in favor of Solki. And where are these pylons? Why only four? He needs more. There's number five. Needs the gateway as well. Eight pylons now being built by Hero. He Euro still has, has income. Yeah, and he, he's he's got the mobile mobile air army that's better upgraded right now as well. And he takes out the hive. We'll start to take out some of these tech structures. Basically, Solki will not make any more units in this game. It's exactly. Not gonna be, it's not going to be something you can do in all nice. big mistakes with the corruptors here. That's awesome for Hero here. He takes down so many of them, kills a lot of corruptors, and therefore makes sure that Solki has a very weak anti-air army. And of course, with the newly built pylons, he has now everything that he needs in order to warp in additional units. And he can just max out on Stalkers now. That's definitely an option for him. Yes, there are still a lot of corruptor investors left, but well, in the end, it's only nine. And he can't bungle everything. He can't bungle all the Void Rays, the Stalkers, and uh, of course, also the Carriers. It's just not possible. Now, a lot of probes being taken out here. If he bungles, well, actually, he doesn't even need to. He takes out all those probes there. Only 19 probes left of 15 drones. Two more Voids coming out. 20 Stalkers, the Void Rays count is at 9. And we also have, of course, Colossi to deal with the Broodlings. Hero looking strong, army supply now in his favor. 148 against 135, Solki on the move. Consider, it's consider though, the Infested Terrans are everything here. He cannot afford to, to fight these Infestors wrong. He's using these Infested Terrans to buy time, but that's not how he wants to use them. He needs to hit them with Fungals and the Infested Terrans together. Hero has his army together now. He's moving in, he's splitting his army. He tries to back Solki up into a corner, and he's certainly able to do it. The high ground advantage now. For Solki though, he has, he's controlling the ramp here, but suddenly the Infestors are running out of energy and that's a great time for the Infest for everything else in Hero's arsenal. Yeah, he blinks forward again, trying to take out these Corruptors, very crucial anti-air here. A ton more Infested Terrans going down, but I don't, I don't think Solki has enough, not enough Infested Terrans. Hero is losing a lot of supply though, yeah. he lost every single and the Corruptors that still he has. In here. The Corruptors are still here, he takes out another carrier. Oh, this is still really close. He needs to pull those corruptors back, and he does. But the investors, why not burrow them? Pull them back here. He needs to save those. Those are his lifeline right now. Two investors left, and now it's up to the corruptor count. The corruptors, they have to die. They have to die if Hero wants to win. Four of them are left. Five void rays, and we no still burrow. have oh, one there it is. carrier. The burrow may be a little bit too late. Yeah. Now, of course, all those food lords are going to die, and Hero still has a lot of buildings to the top right. Yeah, so many buildings left. This is kind of like... 
Uh, a big, I mean, it's kind of like a big problem. Yeah, I don't know how else to say it. Oh, the Corruptors taking down the Colossi. Where are the Void Rays? He needs to kill them. Yeah, he's going for Broodlords instead. The Broodlords starting to work on these assimilators. I mean, it's starting to look like there's almost no way Hero can lose this, but Sulky still remains alive. The supply really low for both players. Oh, this is a mistake. He should not fight here, but what other choice does he have? GG! Hero advances to the next...